All righty, we are being live streamed. I love how fast it is. Hello, hello, everyone. We're super excited. I'm going to make sure we are live on the right location. Um, we are so excited to be coming at you live tonight. And um, we have a little bit of a different spin to share with you tonight. And I'm so thrilled. I have no idea where this conversation will go, but I know that there's going to be some things that you probably hear that you can really identify. So Caitlin and Mandy, thanks for jumping on tonight. And the title we titled this, you guys, was Community is the Foundation of Success. And you know, the interesting thing is, is we are all surrounded around so many communities. Um, we are surrounded around our, with the, the community, within our family, the people that we live with, people that we work with, people that you go to church with, you do sports with, you, you know, intermingle with your neighborhood, any sort of group that you are a part of is a part of a community. And there are certain communities out there that drain us, right? That are constantly, like, I always look at it as like a cup. It's constantly taking things out of our cup. And then there are certain communities, I hope you're a part of one of these, that are filling your cup, right? Constantly putting things into your cup and you're giving things, but it's not draining you. And we're going to talk tonight a little bit about what those things mean to us, how this community that we're a part of has really filled some voids. I will tell you, when I first started this business, I had no social media experience. I didn't know how to meet friends, how to meet Mandy, how to meet Caitlin. You guys, we are friends. We know a lot about each other. We've been connected for quite some time, but the crazy thing is we've never met like face-to-face -face in person, right? Um, but it's so cool because I have met some of my very best friends right here on social media, right here. And we've become friends way before we ever met in person. And part of that is because we built a community. We built a community within our own friendship. And we've also built that within our team. And we're going to talk, Mandy and Caitlin are both going to talk a little bit tonight about what that means for them and really like that aspect. I know a lot of times you're used to us talking about you know, maybe the income that you can earn or the trips you can go on or different things like that. But tonight we're really going to be focused on community and really talking about how we have personally been able to improve ourselves. So here's what I want you to know. You don't have to go at it alone. You shouldn't have to go at it alone. If you are someone who doesn't have that community that is filling your bucket, that doesn't have that community that is giving you positive places and you don't have a place that you can go to be a better you, for your mindset, for your path, for being just like guided in the right direction. That is something that we are a part of. And I know for me personally, I didn't really know what self-development was before I joined into this community. I just thought I was living my life. I was working my job. I was getting better at my job, but I didn't know that I needed to develop my heart. I didn't know I needed to develop my mind. I didn't really know that these even were things that people spent time on. And I will tell you, that has been one of the greatest gifts that cost zero dollars. It cost zero dollars. It cost me being a part and me taking from the community. It's give and a take. And I love that so much. So Mandy, I'm going to be quiet. I want to toss it over to you and um, share a little bit about like what's on your mind when you think of community and it really being the foundation for our success. I'd love for you to share, share a little bit with us tonight. Well, thank you. Um, I love I want to say it's probably more so that's my favorite part is the community um, more so than anything because I needed something to like pull me <laughs> in and, and love me <laughs> because my nine to five right now is super stressful and, and it was totally draining me all the time um, and I would just be exhausted and there was just nothing there that I wanted. Um, so when I found this, it was just something that would, it was just so positive and people actually cared and, you know, having those positive messages and, you know, we have this chat that I love that I go to all the time and I'm just like scrolling in there and I'm just seeing what everybody's saying. And then you can post something in there and people are there to help you. And it's so genuine and it's wonderful. And I love that. And if you have a problem, you know, people are there and business or not business, 
it's, it's awesome. And I, I love that. And I have not met any of these people (laughs) person to person, but I feel like I know everybody and I, I truly, truly love that. Um, it's just something that I, I needed, um, something that I knew I was missing. And I know we've talked about it a little bit and I needed that personal development. I needed to shift that mindset. And I don't think I would have gotten that unless I've, I literally stumbled upon this, um, by accident, I think. Um, but it was something that I needed to stumble upon on accident to get to where I am. Um, you know, life is a journey and you're meant to stumble upon things on accident to get where you need to go. Um, and I think I needed this. Um, so I am loving where I'm going in this journey and I'm going to continue this. Um, and it's, help me tremendously in my own personal growth. Something that, again, I didn't think that I needed, but I knew that I needed. (laughs) Yeah. Um, I would love to ask you, so like, there are so many people that can relate to what you shared about the nine to five pulling at you and being draining and just being stressful. And, you know, I lived in that, in that corporate world for a really long time. And there's a lot of like, there's a, there's a line, right? There's a boundary there of what you can and what you can't share, um, what you should and what you shouldn't share, right? Like personal, spiritual growth, like, you know, competition, people going for the same jobs or anything like that. And sometimes it can just be so draining. And when you come home from such a draining experience, it's like, you know, being able to, to go into something that lifts your spirits back up, that lifts you back up and said, oh, okay. Like, it's not like that everywhere. Here is some sort of positive place. So like from your experience, when you have those days and you are like, I am so drained, or you have those weeks and you go in, you know, what are the feelings? What are the emotions that you have, or that you really feel like as you're going into that chat group, or as you're getting on a zoom, or as you're, you're sharing, you know, either the products or your experience with someone, like what, what does it feel like for people? Because a lot of times people don't even know that's available for them. They just get stuck in that rut of like, this is just, you know, this is just what it is. I'm in a draining world. And so is everybody else. Like, this is this just what is, we do. It's normal. Like, this is just what life is. It's normal nine to five, get up, go to work, come home, make dinner, go to bed, repeat. Um, and it's not life is so much more to experience and you have to find that that group of people to you know open your mind to experience it and not open not even just like the thrive experience like that's where it started to just holy cow i have this energy like my my mind is open it's clear like I can do all these things that I need to do. Now I have all these other things that I want to do. So let's put this into work now. Let's put this into practice. I got this going for me. You know, now let's take this to the other level and let's, you know, work on my mindset. Let's work on personal development. Like let's, let's make some extra money, you know, let's work on this. Let's do this. Let's, you know, we talked before, let's get this workout going on. Let's pick up those extra weights. Like that's what I needed. And I wouldn't have been able to do that unless I stumbled upon this. And I appreciate that. And that's what I love. (laughs) I love it. I love it. Thank you so much for sharing that perspective, because I think it's just, it's just so real. I mean, it's so real. And so many people can relate to having that draining, you know, um, Caitlin, I'd love to bring you in and sort of, you know, comment and pick up maybe where Mandy left off and talk about a little bit about what the community has been like for you and why you're here and what you feel like you've grown through. And I know, you know, personal development has also been a part of your journey and a part of your path. And, um, I'd love for you to share a little bit more about that. Yeah, of course. So two things. One, I have never felt like a part of a group or clique or community of any kind at any age. Um, More so when I popped out three kids in four years and at a younger age than most people. Um, 
and this community, they don't, I mean, at first when they welcomed me in, they didn't know any of that. They didn't care about any of that. And living in a small town, sometimes you kind of are skeptical about, you know, putting yourself into different communities and different, you know, groups of people. But with this, it's funny because, you know, we come to a community in the chat that Mandy was talking about for, you know, help with the business, but it creates so much more than that because you, you don't know these people and these people don't know you. So you're like, well, you know, why not just share what I'm struggling with, with them. And then you find yourself relating to these women and these people more than you even knew was possible. Like, wow, I thought I was the only one who struggled with this. And, and it's not the support and the self-development and personal growth is not coming from a point of, well, you need to do this because this is what works. It comes from, you know, I did this and this helped me break through my mindset. But, you know, my friend over here in a whole different state was in the same situation and that didn't work for her. So you should also try this. And it's all about what works for you and around your schedule and your character traits and strengths and weaknesses. And it kind of pinpoints and tells you like, it's okay to struggle and it's okay that it's really, really hard to grow yourself as an adult. Um, So yeah, that community is just all around. It's more, it's kind of funny because I've grown as a person just as much as I have as a businesswoman. Amen to that. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, it's so true because sometimes for us to be successful, we have to develop ourselves. We have to take these stepping stones. And I love so much that not a single person's journey is the same. You know, we, we get to help each other. And, you know, one of the coolest things that like I I thought about when you were sharing Caitlin is just, um, you know, one of the things I think is really different about leadership and about our community, about our individual members within our community is that you, we are, we are people who make everyone feel like there's somebody like you come into this community and no one knows about your past and no one cares. Right. No one cares about what you feel defeated about. No one cares. I mean, we care, we care to help you get over it. We're not, there's no judgment. You get to come with no experience or with all the experience in the world. You get to come broken. You get to come shoeless. You come any way. There is a seat at the table for you. And I love that. I love the fact there is a beautiful thing about meeting complete strangers and just being a part of something that you want to be better. You want to, you want to be a better mom. You want to be a better wife. You want to show up and just be a better human. And Growing a business comes alongside with that, but there are so many challenges. If you are listening and you have never had your own business, if you've never been in the network marketing space or direct sales space, I will tell you it is self-development on steroids. Okay. Like it straight up is, it is like, you will be a better person. You will uncover things about yourself that you don't like. You will. And guess what? You have to oftentimes face those things and overcome them. But on the other side, you have all of these people helping and supporting you and helping you get there. And and you are someone. And I love that you said, I I actually didn't know that, Caitlin, about you, that you said you had never felt like you had ever been a part because you're such a huge part of our community and you are somebody here and Mandy is somebody here and I am somebody here and everyone gets to feel that way. And um. I know that there are so many people out there, especially women who get married, have a job, raise kids, or maybe they're a stay-at-home mom. And now their identity that what they wear on their hat is those things. We no longer over time identify with who we are outside of being a wife, outside of being a mom, outside of being a, whatever you do during the day. And that sometimes can break us down and lose our confidence. And I love so much about this community that you do get lifted up. I mean, what the first place when I am, I'm personally facing something like a challenging day or maybe something with one of my kids, the first place I go 
is into the the message. The first place I go is into a te- into a text thread on Messenger, and letting people know, like being able to pray for people and being able to lift people up. So, I love the aspect that we do have that. I love the aspect that um, individually we're just like one drop of water, but when you put us all together, we we make like a full glass of water that is constantly giving and taking and helping each other. So anything else you guys want to share tonight before we hop off? Um, I just want to say that it was it's just an amazing group of people that have your best interest in heart. It's just amazing. And I've never felt that way before of people just generally like caring. And I love that, Mm -hmm. you know, business plus caring, you don't get that a lot. And like you said, I've grown so much, you know, being a better person, all that self-development, um, I've come a long way (laughs) and there's still more to come, but, um, it's been a good, it's been a good journey so far. So So I would love to ask you guys in closing, um, if you have been a part of other direct sales or other network marketing companies, what do you feel like, is this community different? Because I know I have a lot of friends that are in other businesses that are, you know, maybe skeptical about the industry just in general. And all companies are not created equal. All teams are not created equal. All structures are not created equal. So, you know, do you, are they all the same? Like, do you feel like other teams you've been a part of are all the same? Or is this heartbeat feel a little bit different for you? This is without a doubt, completely different. And I've been with anybody that's still friends with me on Facebook <laughs> knows that I've been with, um, a lot of different network marketing, direct sales, um, MLM companies, and the team and the leadership and the friendship here is completely different. It doesn't feel pushy. It does not feel spammy. Um, It does not feel salesy. Matter of fact, majority of the time, we don't even talk about sales. We talk about growth in general, overall, and understanding of everyone and everything and of course you know the products and things like that and how how good it makes people feel but I guess that's kind of the reality and what comes along with the fact that we're not selling a product and we're kind of just promoting the fact that you don't have to just survive like you you can actually thrive no pun intended but (laughs) that was so cheesy but I love that we're not sell. I don't, I never feel like I'm trying to sell someone and I don't feel like someone is trying to make me sell. And that's something different that I haven't experienced before. Um, I feel like I'm actually promoting a better life and a better opportunity to people. So true. So true. All right, you guys. Well, I am so grateful um, for your time tonight. I love your stories. I love really you shedding light on what the community and just the development and what you're a part of here. So if you're watching or somebody shared this video with you or you're watching it later, you're friends with Mandy, Caitlin or myself. Hi. And we love welcoming children. Um, You can attend anytime. We love that. I can't tell you how many times my kids have gone to events with me. I'm still in the front row in color, especially when they were little. Um, But if you are, if you're open, if you're interested in learning more about what this community looks like, and here's the cool thing is this is just like, there's so much stuff that comes along with it that is completely free, free training. You get to start your business for free. The website is free. You earn your products for free. Your customers can earn their products for free. There's just so many things in the community is a huge part of this. So self-development is a huge part of this. And I love my favorite, favorite, favorite part is you get to choose your journey. You're not pressured into like, oh, if you're not going to the top, we don't want you. There's a seat for everyone. There's a seat for someone who wants to share this with two people. There's a seat for someone who wants to have a multi-million dollar business and everything in between. And we're here to support you. We're here to guide you. So um, thanks, ladies, for being on. I love hearing your stories tonight. And we'll see you next time. Yeah, really good.